Garland, how you doing, man? You all good? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you, Chris? Yeah, not not too bad, man. Not too bad. We had, had fun the other night. <laughs> oh, I, I've had better times. You've had better times. So, fun. Um, we had so much fun. <laughs> so so um, you probably know what we're going to ask you. Uh, Jason has kind of agreed with both of the points that we, we brought to him, but I still want to get the point to you. Uh, and we'll make it nice and simple. Do you think that animal agriculture has a responsibility for the crop deaths and the damage done on the meal and oil crops of soy? Chris, I have always said that they did. No, uh, you haven't. That, that's, well, could yes, no, I have. I know. If, if, Chris, you said, if you Chris, said that, we wouldn't have had the cold co product argument. Chris, it wouldn't have existed. Chris, Chris, okay, if you're saying that I said that animal agriculture has absolutely, can, can shoulder none of the responsibility for crop deaths, that's a that's a big thing to claim. Okay, well, can, can I, I say what you, I thought you, you said, said and, you, and, you, and you can verify you whether I'm right? You said both things. You said majority and you said all. Yeah, let, 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 me, let me verify what I think you said and you can say where I'm correct, okay? I want to be fair. From what I can gather, you have always admitted that 7% of the soy is fed directly to animals, right? You've always said that and I've got no issue with that. The way I have the contention is you've you've always seemed to argue that the uh, the rest of the soy because the 100% of the oil is going to humans um, and the meal is going to the animals, you always kind of argue that, well, that was only a waste product. The humans are having all the, the oil. Therefore, we don't take any responsibility for that portion. Is that, is that, fair, is that fair to say? No, that is, that, is, that is not exactly what I said. Okay, well, well can you clarify then so I can I know, understand what you said? Okay. I, what I said was a response, okay? You're familiar with um, Joey Carbstrong, Earthling Ed. Yeah, of course. Of them say, yeah. Joey's a close friend of mine. I know Joey very well, yeah. Okay. So Joey has said, and he's still saying it, that if, you, if you're worried about crop deaths, mm -hmm. then you must know that, for instance, 70... 70 something percent of the soy that's grown is fed to livestock and that's essentially the same thing that i heard ali say during our first debate was that a very high percentage like between 70 and 80 percentage of the soy is being fed to livestock and so they were blaming around 80 percent of the soybean production on livestock and so what I've been trying to do is respond to that and say, it's not all the livestock because these are joint products. The oil and the soybean meal are produced at the same time. And so both. This sounds like very and, different to what you've been saying. Um, no, it's not. No, it's what, what, what I, I think what you're confusing me as saying was whenever I was quoting the UNFAO paper that stated that 76% of livestock feed is inedible. And the statement that they make directly after that is if we stop feeding this to livestock, then the uh, byproducts that are left over from these processes would become an environmental burden. And so there's a large percent of there's probably, I guess it's about 67 or 76 percent of livestock feed is uh, what I was calling a byproduct. You're calling it a co-product. The point that I'm making is that if we omit, and, and this is this is where we can move forward, is if we omit livestock altogether, then uh, what would that do? Because because what you're claiming, you know, what what the vegans and and I know that that Jeffrey hates for me to say the vegans. When I say the vegans, I'm talking about high profile vegan influencers like your friend Joey. Joey is saying, if you care about uh, crop deaths, and you know, if you're the kind of person that cares about crop deaths and he kind of has disdain for people, he, mm -hmm. he communicates a disdain for people who care about crop deaths. But if you care about crop deaths, then what you should do is you should, you should uh, be working to abolish animal agriculture because the majority of these crops are being grown to feed livestock. Okay. And what, what I think that you, you've finally done is you've stepped up and you've conceded 
that the majority of these crops, such as soybeans, are not actually being grown exclusively to feed livestock. And that was what I was trying to counter. I think right now I no, appreciate that, you because you're coming forward. No, and you're that, that's me still to fair. That. This is my my actual argument is is actually a bit different to that because um, if we're actually uh, I've I've got the stats here. If we're actually comp- so with soy, for example, if we're comparing how much soy is fed to livestock compared to how much is fed to humans. This isn't including biofuel because this is something that you seem to add in. You want to say the entire of human consumption. If we're talking diet to diet, we can't include things like biofuel. It's nothing to do with the diet. And it's being used by animal agriculture for whatever they use it for, for machinery. It's being used for non, you know, for vegans, for other things. But if we, so if we look at it, we, we've got here, and you can correct me if, if these stats are wrong, but um, I've got here the soy grown directly for humans. This is soybeans. is around 7%, which is about equal to what is grown for livestock. Would you agree with that, first off? Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. okay. So then after that, we've got the, um, the oil and meal plants okay and from the stats i've got from the usda for the years 21 to 22 about 40 percent of the oil is going to biofuel and then 60 percent of that cooking oil hold on hold on hold on this is i think where this is i think where i'm not going to let you okay uh, well, no, no, it, where it, it, you do, want do, to go well hold on this is the do, truth do you not no, agree with on, that stat do you on. not agree with that stat no, i agree that humans are consuming biodiesel are humans consuming biodiesel well, I mean, not in their human, diet. No, no, not in the consume, diet sense, no. If we're talking you know, diet to hum, diet. Humans, con, humans consume entertainment. They consume podcasts. They consume I'm not sure what you're talking they about They consume here. diesel. Then we're, then we're talking about diet. The, we wouldn't but, say entertainment's know, but, a part of someone's diet. Music isn't part if, of someone's if, diet. If humans are consuming it in any way, then it's being consumed by humans. We're not talking about just nutritionally. No, we, 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 we're we talking about... Yeah, th- this we're is, talking this about plant-based we, versus meat. This is where this is. I think this is the our next stepping stone that we'll have to iron out. Which is, you're saying that biodiesel is not being consumed by human beings. I'm saying it's not being fed to human beings. We're talking about food. But are they consuming it? Well, we're I mean, talking about well, diet. The, the, well, the thing is, Garland, if if we're saying they're no, consuming, we're, we're not talking about diet. Well, hold on. If, if you're yeah, saying, if you're saying, we're th- talking about soy. If, no, hold on. If you're saying we consume it then also you are consuming it as well. We're all consuming right. it. Right, that's a, to- that's a two quick way that you're- No, you're no, it, 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 it just puts I'm, the responsibility no, back I'm, on everybody I'm again. Not, I, I'm not saying that I'm not consuming it, okay? Well, you need what to put I'm that in your numbers. That, if no, you, if you want to put it- is that, No, hold on, if you want to put it in the numbers for the opposition, if you want to put add biofuel into the numbers for the vegan menu, you've got to include no, biofuel no, no, on no, the numbers no, for no, the no, animal no, agriculture. No, 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 I'm not putting it in for the vegan menu. Well, you currently are. I'm putting are. it in for the human consumption. Uh, it's, for, it's not for the vegan menu, it's for human then, consumption. Okay, then, then let me ask then, why, why are you talking about human consumption when the debate is clearly animal diet versus vegan diet? We're not talking about human consumption as a whole. We're talking about diet versus diet, right? No, we weren't talking about diet. We're well, that's what everyone about, else seemed to think we're talking we're about. We're talking about animal animal agriculture versus crop agriculture. Jeffrey, do, do, you're under the, I guess you, you chatted to Garland beforehand. I'm guessing you, yeah, yeah. this is what you thought, right? Because if this is what Always. you thought, then obviously this wasn't ironed out prior. I don't think anyone would assume that biofuel would come up in an argument against like I called animals the versus plants. You brought like, it up. I was like, we're not consuming biofuel. Yes, we are. You know, because the, because, the because, because, because the thing is, if, if you if you want to if you want to do it like that, to it, the to the conversation, we, if, ha- we have a consumer we have a consumer economy around the world, <clears throat> for in, maybe in the uh, very undeveloped third world countries. But it doesn't matter whether it's the UK or the United States or Canada, whatever Australia. It's a consumer economy, and if you look into what that means, it means that we're consuming. We're not only consuming food, we're also consuming drink, we're also consuming entertainment, we're consuming clothing, we're consuming uh, slave products from China, we're consuming uh, marijuana that's being uh, grown with pesticides, we're, we're consuming all kinds of things, and but it's being consumed consumed and consumed does you look up the definition of consumed it doesn't was, necessarily was consume in the proposition swallowing was the it. word was the word human consumption anywhere in the proposition because i didn't see it what was the proposition uh, jeffrey, you, jeffrey do you remember There's that no proposition? consumption nope it was never consumption what was the, what was it the, was uh, plant-based versus animal-based and 
you you said in our first debate it was consumption it was human consumption and i was like that's absolutely not what was ever said yeah. and, I, and i don't know why if, if if you came to me and said that argument i'd be like why are we having that argument i don't want to this isn't about biofuels you know yeah the, 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 <laughs> you know, if, if we if we eliminated right, all of you, if we tried to eliminate all of plant foods right. like a new thing too yeah, it's yeah, hold on. Like if, if we if, if we try to eliminate all of did i bring up did i bring up biofuels yeah, no, no, yeah but the what, country of africa right yeah, yeah but what I'm, what I'm saying is if we want to have that argument what we'd be saying is if we eliminated all plant foods you'd still be growing the plants for the biofuels that animal agriculture uses for their tractors and god knows what like it's it, this is why it's it shouldn't be a part of the argument we wouldn't even argue that like it, why would you include biofuel in a thing which is you know any debate which is meant to be vegan versus meat eater or anything we do not talk about things that aren't food based <laughs> unless it's very specific like you want to talk about animal testing or you want to talk about you know into what pharmaceuticals or something in that sense but any normal bait biofuels I, I don't think that's the way to do it. and if that's how you've been arguing you've been like it hasn't been discussed. We've been arguing two different things. Completely different things. Would you agree there? That we might, may, everyone might have been arguing two completely different things? We may have. I'm trying to look up uh, the last proposition that he gave me. Yeah, I mean, I, okay. I don't know. This is between you and Jeffrey. You're going to have to yes. look up. Yes, he know. says the, the, the words that he used were plant-based diet versus animal-based diet, which does more harm to the environment in the world okay. today. Well, there you go then. So, so why are we bringing the percentage of biofuel from oil okay. into okay, a thing about crop deaths? Then, okay, then for, for food. Um, all right. So, what I we're, we're, I want to explore that path. Okay. Well, well, well can I can before, I can before, I before you do that? Can I finish what I was going to say and then you can do your sure, rebuttal? Sure. Okay. So what what I, what I was going to explain from there is obviously we've we've said seven percent for humans, seven percent for livestock. We both agreed there. The, um, the oil and meal, the oil breakdown that I've got from the years 21 to 22 was 40% goes to biofuel, 60% goes to cooking oils and food production. Yeah, would, that, would you say that's about fair? I mean, this is USDA stats, so I mean, like, I'm hoping you'll, I, you would agree okay, with that. Okay, if they're USDA stats, it's fine. Yeah. Let me, let me... Okay, and, and then, and then, and then just, just to continue and Could finish... Could you give me those again so I can write them down? Yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah, so 7% uh, direct to humans, 7% direct to livestock, and then the oil meal crop is uh, 40% goes to biofuel, 60% goes towards cooking oils and food production. Wait, no, that's not oil meal, that's uh, oil. No, that's oil. just the oil. That's just the breakdown of just the oil. Yeah, that's the oil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how much you said 40 goes to? Four, uh, yeah, it said 40 biofuel, 60 cooking oil and food production. Now, yeah, anything within food production, 60%. Okay. Yeah. So if we look at those separately, the human food element is 7% which is the direct, and then it is 60% of the oil and meal crop, right? The animal food side would be 7% direct to the animals. And then what I assume, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the majority of the meal goes towards the animals. So we're looking, oh, yeah. maybe- It's about 98%. Okay, so 7% so plus 98% of the oil and meal crop, which ultimately, as some of those oil and meal crops will be purely- for meal and biofuel, you're looking at a 40%, 40 percent of the oil and meal crop goes towards more goes towards animals. So how you're arguing that the human no, that, well, that, that the vegan the diet is causing reason, more crop deaths? Well, I, you ex you actually explained it. You explained it. How did I explain you it? Explained I've just explained it. this forty percent more. You explained it. You explained it when you when you when you described. The ninety percent of the soybeans being processed to make two co-products. Yeah. Right, and so if these ninety percent of the soybeans are being processed to separate the oil from the meal, mm -hmm. then you can't say, well, only uh, seven percent. Now, how how much? Let's let's go over what well, you're thinking. Uh, let me try to make this you, really. Are you easy. just claiming the seven percent for humans? No, 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 no. Seven percent plus sixty percent of the oil and meal crop. So sixty-seven percent of the soybean is being grown for humans. Yeah. So if if we think about it, right? Let's say we got. Let's try to make it real simple, right? Let's break it down and say well, we've it's got. Not, actually, it, it, I don't think that's completely simple because we are mixing 
In other words, we've got this. Uh, think, think about it this way, words, right? If, if we've got a hundred soy plants, right, and we're using all those those um, hundred soy plants for either um, for, for oil purposes, we're either using them for biofuel or for or for cooking, right? Forty of those crops will the oil will be used for biofuel, this and sixty of the crops will be used for cooking oil. Right. As a result of the oil being produced, there will be meal on 100% of those crops. So if 90% goes to the animals, then they're responsible for, you know, there's going to be, um, well, we, we'll round it up to 100 just to make it easy because it's so close, right? There'll be a, there'll be, a, there'll be 40%, or is it 60%, sorry? There'll be, basically, there'll be a large portion of those crops grown which are only for biofuel and only for livestock feed right and it'll be a larger portion well, than it would be the, for just yeah. cooking oil and the other way the other end you kind of get what i'm saying so there's like, well yeah i i, I do i know i'm explaining it weird but it's, it's, it's nearly three in the morning so I forgive get, me if i'm being a bit what you're saying chris but this is what i'm what what i'm this is why this this is why I'm, I want to go ahead and say this is that sure. I'm going to go down this path with you. Okay, I'm, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and 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 we're going to flesh this out. I'm happy to do that sure. with you. Let's break it down. However, however, like uh, Jason was saying earlier, is that that vegans have this vision, this vision of a, a an animal free future, mm -hmm. um, and so. If we if we yeah. abolish the if we abolish the animals, then what you guys will have to do is you'll have to prove that under that scenario that there would be the, that the crop that this, I mean we I think everyone agrees that the crop agriculture I always say the crop agriculture that also you know it, it's it's making all of our food but it also makes the vegans food right it can't get away from that that the yeah the, especially with people like we can't uh, get like away from it making your biofuel. Friend, some of your close friends saying you got to avoid organic you got to go for the regular mm -hmm. stuff which is covered in pesticides and and uh, relies upon synthetic and mined uh, fertilizers so if we're going to talk about a vegan future we have to look at it with all the variables. No, but, but no, with, with this, though, we don't. No, with, with this part, we don't yeah. need to look at the future. We just need to look at the stats for this individual crop and no, the I'm details saying, of I'm that. No, I'm saying if we're going to have a vegan future, then we have, we, we, don't you think we should look at all the variables? Oh, no, no, we, no, we should. No, no, I, I agree. If we're going to look That's at the... That's why we need uh, to have uh, good faith debates, Yeah, Garland, if, if we're going to look at we the... actually look at the numbers and don't just yeah, you know, I tried that. No, no, Garland, I tried that, but you no, didn't no, know. Garland, you hold didn't on. Try that, Garland. What, what, what I'm saying is, is yes, we. Do you know what? Okay, what can, I, just can I just finish two seconds? Straw so. man, do you do you identify that as a straw man? When you say some of your friends say this, and I'm going to argue that point. When you're face to face with us and you're ignoring the things we say, you do you identify that that is a straw man attack? Okay, I'll ask Chris. Do you think that we should avoid organic? Do I think I'm unsure this about the argument? I don't know, I don't know enough. About, I don't know enough about the argument to, to say. attack because you don't want to hear what Chris has to say. I'm waiting for him to speak. Okay, well, 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 then, what then I want to say then, anymore. if you want to listen to me, what I want to say is yes, this conversation about the bigger picture needs to be had. But at the moment, I'd like to focus on this one argument, just this, because this is what we were talking about a hell of a lot. So I want to get a concession whether you agree or whether you can actually debunk what I've just said. Like, You're saying that of when we look just at the oil, that forty percent of it is going uh, to human consumption as I'm, biofuel. I'm saying when we look at it, foods only, food products only, forty percent so more. We're not looking at all human consumption, right? No, we're because gonna, we're going to look at a very narrow. That's factored in. It's, it's factored in that there's biofuel. You can see it literally that. Actually, can, can we share this on the screen? From human consumption. Can I? Can I? Um, let me let me screen share this so we can actually see it. I think this might be a bit easier. So you can you can actually see what I'm looking at, and then we're we're not getting confused. I think there. I know what you're what you're doing, but I I think that the problem that I I think that can it's you pop that up, misleading Jeffrey? is because humans are cons are consuming biofuel, not cattle or not pigs no we're talking about country. food remember this is what i mean we're talking we're about not food. consuming it in our diet we already made this clear why are you going back to this 
all I'm all I'm doing is I'm trying you I'm trying to I'm trying to remind everyone that this is a very narrow perspective. No, this is just talking about food, which is what the subject. humans are consuming. You like, right. like we, yeah, well, I mean, like, if, if you, you want to talk about consumption, we talk about everything. We talk about oil. We talk about gas. We talk about tar. We're swallowing, but we're consuming a, another forty percent of the oil, but in another way as biofuel. I know, but what I'm saying we is, if we look at it as that. what I'm saying is, if we look at it for purely the food point of view. Purely the food point. Of That's view. what. But but more but food goes to the that, animals. You agree that you're narrowing the view, almost like to win an argument. No, I'm narrowing right. the view. If it was a completely different argument, but as we're talking about food, this is the, the exact argument. Vegan. No you're you're talking to vegans. We're vegan because of this diet you say we have. Like this is the whole point of that we're talking about. Yeah. Our diets, Garland. Okay. You don't. Well, we don't consume methanol, and ethanol. No, we do consume it. We don't eat it. No, but we not, not in it. our mouths, no, not we, in our we, diet. Right. We don't. We, we eat need. It, okay. We, we need to. We need. It. We need to change this terminology. We're not talking about consumption, human consumption. We're talking about what okay. we eat. We're talking about diet okay, and diet yeah. only. That's it. Diet only. I'll, I'm, I'm going to tell everyone now that I'm going. I'm going to walk down this path with you, but I am going to use this video to go ahead. Oh, later please do. Because you don't want to go over the full numbers. <laughs> I'm going to later show everyone the human consumption of the okay go, go ahead that's that because right now you're narrowing go ahead that that, that won't be proof that the vegan diet not you, you, what we're consuming in other ways Colin, go ahead and do that because it doesn't disprove what we're arguing against which is the vegan diet the, ethanol <laughs> the vegan diet you know, in this case is causing less damage no, than the meat no. eating diet that is the argument we're presenting if you wanted to bunk us on a completely separate point we're not even trying to make go ahead just make sure to include this bit i've said here because we're talking about diet and diet only. I don't know why you're bringing biofuel into it. It seems more you want to bring biofuel Always into happen. it because it improves your argument. <laughs> That's what it more seems well, like. Well, humans are consuming it and it's being blamed on livestock. Yeah, but no one's eating it. We're not there eating it. No one's got a glass vegans, full of biofuel remember, and they're downing it. We're no. vegans. Okay, do you want Why everyone don't you like to be? Us I thought, we I thought, don't okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought you wanted everyone no, to Hold on, be Garland, vegan. Garland, to, to be fair then, to be fair, right? You, you want to say that we're wrong on this point. Will you concede that I'm okay when it just becomes just to diet only? If, it, if it's diet only, not, not overall human consumption, purely diet, will you concede that more soy goes to animals than it does to humans? From the statistics presented, purely eating. Uh, let me look at these numbers. Yeah, feel feel free. Have a look. Seven percent going directly to humans. Seven mm -hmm. percent going directly to livestock. Yep. And then um, sixty going to cooking oil. Yeah, that's the oil breakdown. Well, I see. Yeah, I see. I see how by by removing the biofuel consumption, then you can manipulate the numbers. No, so it, no it's it not manipulating. Like, it's just because it's talking about no, food. It's not manipulating. We're just talking about food. Yeah. That's why it doesn't okay, exist. Okay, right? I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay, so with, do, with the soybean. Yeah. Okay, so do you yeah. concede that in this case here, more soy is fed to animals than humans? Be honest. Come on. More. More is being consumed by humans, but more is being fed to, to livestock. Okay, that's what we wanted. That's it. Okay, so so therefore, okay. when it comes to soy, more crop deaths and more damage is responsibility of animal agriculture than it than it is vegans. With no, soy, I never said with vegans. soy, I they, never said vegans. I said crop agriculture. Okay, well, yeah, well, you know, okay, well, cro okay, well, crop agriculture crop then. Agriculture. Okay, let's just say crop ag agriculture. Okay, well, no, well, well actually, we're, no, we're still talking about diets. I want to know by no, diets. Well, I, but, Human but food versus animal food. My, livestock Chris, causes more crop deaths. Chris. Hold on. You, you can't not avoid this thing. I you, never said, but I never said vegans. Okay, well, no, forget and the word I, vegan. I never, and I never said diet. That's fine. For, forget the word vegan. Forget the word vegan. That's absolutely fine. Okay, can you concede? That livestock, so animal foods, is responsible for more crop deaths, more pesticides, and more damage than the human food element of soy. 
from what you've just conceded, you should say yes because you've agreed there's more being grown for them. It should be a very simple answer. Well, um, come on, on be, be on, Dolan, on please just be honest. Since you're removing the biofuel consumption of, that humans are, are yep, doing, which we're totally fine with. Making us, you're making us focus just on a very thin portion of what's being produced, then technically you would be right. Okay. Technically. I think most sensible people will see why we're not including biofuel in this argument. Okay, so so the next question that we have to ask is, okay, if we omit livestock, mm -hmm. by what percentage is that going to re reduce the, the soy crop. agriculture? Okay, right, let, let, we, we can dive into that. Okay, so you, you might already be aware that when uh, the demand for soy oil isn't available, that um, another oil is generally used instead, correct? It normally goes to someone like palm oil. Would Hold you, on a second. Would you agree? Hold on a second. No, I'm not, we, you can't keep the... the I'm, I'm, I don't think that you should keep the scope narrow throughout this whole conversation. No, not you know. I'm just saying this is what right. generally happens. No, I'm just asking if you agree no, with that. No, no. I, I don't agree with that, and this is But why. that's what happens. Okay. No, I'm, I'm going to tell you why okay. it's not going to happen. Okay? There is... And, and you guys actually had this graph up here earlier. Um, I mean, the, and I can put it up. On, I mean, this is just I a simple thing I'm asking. I, I'm just saying, when soy demand can't be met, soy oil demand can't be met, is it true that they use another oil? That's all I'm asking. This isn't be a difficult question, right? Um, I haven't seen any proof of that. Have you seen proof of um, that? Yeah, I can probably find it for you. Um, hold on. Oh, let me quickly have a look. Soy oil demand actually it might actually i might have the the actual link hold on obviously i, I wasn't prepared so i need to quickly look so bear with me here I, there's nothing wrong with not having everything pulled up ready to go when you no. don't know exactly well i mean i'm I'm, tr I'm trying to get it done quickly because i need to go to sleep soon so, <laughs> so yeah just bear with us a second um May have been this one. Let me just check. Um, I don't know if you want to, um, Jeff. I don't know if you just want to help just to speed this up. If you want to quickly try and Google it, if you search for like soy oil demand, um, you know, something like palm or something, it, there should be something that comes up, or, or even like vegetable oil. It should. Um, it should kind of say that when it doesn't, it isn't reached, then they another oil. It kind of increases the, the market for another oil. Which, which would, I mean, I mean, to be honest, I mean, this, this I, I don't know why this is a, I kind of think it kind of makes, kind of sense. You know, if if someone wants an, a vegetable oil and they can't get it from soil, they're they're going to go to another oil. Um, oh, here maybe we are seeing a sneak. No, um, well, why why would they not be able to make the oil? I don't understand. Well, because you need to also um, have a, a a market for the for the meal it produces as well. We do, we, but we do. That's what I'm trying to tell you is that we have a market for that. Well, the the thing is, as a um, I've got, I've actually got a video from the VP of marketing of the soy board, which is literally um, a video on how they can use more meal because they're trying to find other ways to do it. They're thinking of trying to replace more distillers grains or something like that. So it's not like easy. It's not like, oh, it's just like we can chuck it at them. It's like, well, they need to find a way to do, to use it, which is why they're so, they're so linked. Um, oh God, I wish I could find that link. I've got like a billion <laughs> links here just going through and finding the one. Cause there was one that explained it like really, really well. Um, I wish there was like a quick way I could shovel these links somewhere and just do a search. It would be so much easier. I've actually got something that I'm ready to show. Okay, yeah. I... Okay, yeah. If you've got something to show, let's let's roll with what you've got to show first, and we can go from there. Happy to do that. Okay, so the the red bar on the the left there that is the amount the grams of protein that you guys want to abolish it's almost 129 it's almost 129 trillion grams of highly bioavailable mm -hmm. high quality uh nutrient dense protein 
It also has all of the essential amino acids, all of the essential fatty acids. Mm -hmm. The yellow bar is, and that's what's being consumed around the world today. Okay. The yellow bar is the amount of soybean protein, and he, and and vegans are already consuming soybean protein. In fact, uh, the market analyses for the soybean market is touting the growth in veganism right now to being a driver for the growth of the sor soybean market. And I can show you those. I, I've, like I've, the thing them. is, I, I've looked at I've looked at those links, and yet it is it is driving a demand. More people want more you know, more soybeans kind of thing, but it isn't like, it's nowhere near like the driving force of like meal. Like so soybean, soybean protein is really as far as quality, it's not as good as meat, but it's the best that the plant world has to offer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's very good. Yeah, it has the, uh, so the it's very likely acid. just, and I think opinion. that Jeff, Jeff, the, Jeffrey made the point the other day that 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 soybean meal might be inedible right now, but we might be able to make it edible. Well, we we, we with can a change in processing. Well, we right. can. So we, we can. Not we can. It has been. Okay. It is also. Yeah, we you know, we, or, we already do that. Now and being used in yeah. things, so it's not that it might be. Hmm. It always has been. Holy so crap. in other in other words, there's a market for the soybean meal, already. Very very small. Very small. No, no, no. Right, right now. Right oh no! Now, I mean, for, for, I mean, for infancy, human food, right? it is. I mean, for soybean meal, it's a market. But if you yes. omit that red Obviously. bar, then that yellow bar is going to get consumed. So, 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 so what, what are you, what are you trying to say? That, that we just need to make up the the rest of the red bar, basically. Well, I'm not saying just that we need to make it up, but I'm saying that all the soybean, uh, pro, all the soybean cultivation mm -hmm. that's currently going on will have to continue, if not increase, because there's going to have to be something that replaces that red bar. All of those trillions, 129 trillion grams mm -hmm. of high, high value protein is going to have to be replaced. Okay. And if you're going to replace it, you're going to, I think that Okay, well, soybean is going to be where you're going to start because it's the best protein. Out okay, well, let, let me let me let me, let me throw something out there. Then. Beans, let me basically let me throw something out there. So we're currently using is your anecdotal, is your anecdotal experience, Jeffrey, re no, representative? Hold of on, the I, I, absolutely. World? My uh, my anecdotal evidence of being a vegan. Yeah, I've got something. You're, I've saying, got, you're I, gonna say we're all gonna eat soy. I somehow. Hold on, I got I got soy. something we can throw out here. I got something we can throw out here. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Okay, so oh, hold on, hold on, really, really, really quick. Garland, the uh, the super chat is for you. Can you read it? Um, Jason and I are two different types of Christians, so I'm not going to argue religion today. That's fair enough. Okay. Thanks That's for the fair. super chat, though. Holy crap. That's my first super chat ever. Thank you, okay. Vegan for the Animals. Yeah, what, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm trying to lost my, my train of thought now. So, um... If we obviously hop into a, a vegan world, okay, um, what would generally happen, which is why I was trying to bring up the oil thing, is that if we're not utilizing all that meal, then the market for the oil is going to be not where it is. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be thrown off. It's going to make... You, both of you guys, both of you guys just said that the meal can be made human edible. No, no, it can. I'm not, I'm not if, denying if that. It, I'm not denying that. Okay. If, then if you omit it. livestock, then you're, you're, you've already, if you omit livestock, then you, then the vegan population goes from, what do you think it is right now? No, well, you, you, if, you listen to, if you listen to everything I'm going to say, three, it will make three, sense. How, how many people are in the world right now? About what is that? Seven? What? The way, the way, the, the, what does what making an inedible edible have to do wait, with yeah, none of this, this matters none of this matters do you know what, what I'm gonna say is, Garland? no because you don't know what it I'm going to say so you can't say it's irrelevant when you don't know what but I'm going to say but you haven't gotten to the point where it matters what, what was I going to say you Chris? never do you just talk in circles what, what does say, Chris? I, I, okay let, let, can, can I say my point Chris no one actually knows what I'm going to say inedible have to do with anything Jeff let Chris be okay not I'm muting up okay right so this is what I was going to say okay right Chances are, right? Yes, some of the soy meal we could make to Wait, be hold to on, be human. Hold on. What do you? Let, let's just go. Wait, can, can I explain the whole the, thing first? Because I don't. No, I feel, no, I feel I like what you're saying. Because I know what you're going to say. Okay, what, what am I going to say? What, what you're going to say is that when we, when Garland, we let him talk. 
I'll when mute we... you. You mute me all the time. No, wait, wait. I want to see if he knows. Finish. If he knows, I'm going to be. Yes, I'm gonna... I know what you're going to say. Okay, what am I going to say? I'll I've tell you if I'm wrong. Before, I'll tell you if you're wrong. Is that if we abolish that red, uh, gra the red bar? Yep. Which is all the grams of protein from animals. Mm -hmm. That includes meat, fish, and milk. Yep. And that's a conservative num number because there's other sources of pro animal protein that I'm not including there. Yeah, but, but that is a total on the soybean. So but what's the, what, what's the, the point I'm about bar, to make? You said you said you knew. What's the point I'm about to you're make? You're going to say that that if we if we get rid of livestock, then we won't need we won't have a need for soybean meal anymore. That's and not that, what that's that not we, what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So what are, what are you saying? What I'm going to say was okay. Like I totally agree that we could use soy meal. And we could convert it for human use to add to this amount of, of right. protein that we need. But right. wait, there's right. more. There's more. I need to finish. Otherwise, you won't understand my point. Right. But the thing is, the vast majority of what we will probably require would be whole, so whole soybeans, because that's what we're actually making most of the food out of. That would be the prominent one we would we would use. Now, because of that, if we're going to use whole soybeans, we wouldn't be producing the soy oil if we were growing those you can't have both of them at the same time obviously so what would happen would would be is the soy oil demand would actually drop and it would probably go to something like palm which is more sustainable better yield and you know it would be an all-round better choice so what would actually happen is the soy crop would actually get quite small we would still use some for the oil granted and use some for the meal right. i couldn't so say exactly what percentage but the majority so that we would grow would actually can you be give beans. me a can you give me an estimate well, well, well let's, let's 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 just say, for example, okay, let's just say that the you know, the majority of the the um, oil goes to palm. Let's I know let's use say like eighty percent, say right, and then let's let's just say that we make up the soy crop from whole beans. Right, we could ten times that, right? If we, if we're using seven percent now, we could say we're using seventy percent, right? <laughs> if we add on that, I mean, it's going to be difficult to argue that we're even going to use more than we're using now. Do you not think? Do you think we're going to use 10 times more? We're going to need 10 times more soybeans? Well, no, no. No, I don't think 10 times. Well, that's what I mean. So, thinking, so, so worst well, case scenario, all, well, what I'm trying to explain is well, worst case... I'm still case, confused, and I guess you're going to have to let me ask the question. Well, so well let, me, let me finish. I've got a couple confused, more bits. Because you're a lot smarter than me. No, hold on. I've got a couple you're more... You're a lot smarter than me. I've got a couple more bits, and I'll, I'll let, I'll let you... There's a whole international team. No, hold on. I, I've working. got a couple more things to say, and then I'll let, I'll let you answer. What I was, the, what okay. I was, what I was going to say is, is if we've gone to that point where even if we're growing exactly the same amount of soy, we've still eliminated trillions and trillions of deaths from animal agriculture and just kept the same soy crop. It's still a win. Okay. It's, it's, put, still, it's still a better position. We need, to put that, we need to put that graph back up there. Uh, yeah, we can put the graph back up if you want. Because it is relevant to what we're talking about. Sure, go for it. Okay, so you're saying that we're going to keep the soybean production the same. All I'm saying is, as a worst case scenario, even if we ten times the production of you know what we're currently using for human consumption now, and that we can move the oil to another oil, like a palm oil, which would be more sustainable, like right, we would still be growing the same, but we would have eliminated Wait, all the deaths involved Wait. in animal agriculture, okay. which would still be a huge, huge. Huge what benefit. Percent, huge what win. percentage of the population right now is vegan? Um, I'm about like two, three percent, something like that. Three. So, so, yeah, but we're not. I'm not talking about just vegans. I'm talking about everybody here. Like we're talking about as a worldwide diet here, not just vegans. Wait, hold on. Uh, if we if we abolish all animal agriculture and we criminalize the eating of well, I mean, you, you could food, technically say everyone is vegan if you want to say it like that. Like, okay, yeah, we have to, don't we? We can't continue. Or to you could say, say everyone's plant based. Is... In this case, we could say everyone's plant based. No, no. Well, we can't say that. Well, unless you want to start talking about the elimination of wool, leather, circuses, aquariums, well, of it would. zoos. Of course, like, it would. Of course it would. Different numbers in. Yeah, of course it would. So yeah, we're talking about a vegan world, right? That's what we're talking about. If you're going to abolish all animal agriculture and criminalize the eating of meat. I mean, if you a, want to talk about it, it a I don't know why it's relevant to what we're talking about. Right, let's make it a felony to, to milk a cow. Let's do that. Okay, well, what's, what, what's, so, what's your point? Let's so, get, get to what your, so your point is. My point is, is, is right now we've got 100% of the population. If we divide that by three, that's 33. And you're saying if we, if we, if we take the amount of soybean 
soybeans that, that humans are eating right now and multiply it times 10. Hold on, you, hold on. You, you would need to multiply it times you're, you're assuming you're, you're, three, 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 No, no, hold on. You're, 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 your stats are assuming that only vegans currently eat soy, which isn't true. You can't, you can't use the 3%. What about all the countries in Asia which live off of soy? Like, you know, like. Well, I think that's why this graph. I think this why, that's why this graph is relevant because no, no, because that's the saying red, the entire of soy the red being bar has to be replaced, and the yellow bar is how much soy protein is being produced. And that, and what I'm doing, what I've done there is I've calculated how many soybeans are being produced for vegans which are three percent which isn't how no, much that's is being not eaten. For vegans that, that was no that no. was a bad calculation You're, jeffrey bad calculation you like you can't do that right? three you, you you can't say that that's only for three percent and then no that's not what i'm saying listen okay say it again say it again say it again okay look what it says up there by the the, the this all the soybean and that's the protein that's in every soybean produced not just the the soybeans that are processed for soybean isolate mm -hmm. uh, soybean soy protein isolate it's not just the soybeans that are being crushed mm -hmm. it's not just the seven percent that are being consumed directly by humans that is all the protein in all the soybeans in the world right that's being produced today and so if you took all the protein, all the, if you took every soybean that's being grown this year and removed it from the soybeans for human consumption, that yellow bar would represent all of the protein. There would be no more soybean protein available after that uh, soybean protein there in the yellow bar had been extracted right. from I'm... every soybean in the world. So if you keep today's soybean production exactly where it is and you sub, you extract all of the protein from that those soybeans then you're at that yellow bar you're still not even one third towards the amount of protein that you have to replace yeah hold on, hold on. Could, could i just say something right here right so i've just read what's on the other side of this screen and i think there's something very important there um so so the graph we've got there Okay, that's how much soybeans is being at the, made at the moment. And the red is how much meat and protein we're getting from there. Okay, it says here, a There's vegan no world soy would require soybean production to more than triple, 3.289. If we tripled that yellow section there, okay, yeah. that would equal about the same, right? It would, well, except that we also know that, that plant proteins are not as digestible they're not as bioavailable. They don't. There's a. There are uh, nutrients that are missing from it, and so there. Uh, it would have to. You would have to produce more soy than there is meat right now because all of that soybean protein is not going to be bioavailable. Yeah, but this is so, what, what I'm. What I'm saying is from from what I said about if we moved the oil to somewhere else and we're just only growing it for human consumption, we're not even going to need to make that much. We're not. We're not even going to have to grow that much, really. It's not. Why? It's not going to be a big deal, considering the amount of death on the other side. We would, we would lose. I, I can't see. I can't see why that's that's bad. I mean, if you want to argue it from a health point of view, it's a different argument. But I mean, I'm just talking about it from, from well, animal lives. Doing, we like, have <laughs> we have to do it for health, right? We have to do it for health. I know veganism isn't for health, but we don't want to replace the system we have now. With a system okay, so, so if we're talking about health again, would, 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 would you concede that if we um, eliminated animal agriculture and we moved over and we increased the soy, would we still be causing less deaths, animal deaths? Well, how, mu how much are you saying that we would, let's agree first on how much soy we're going to have to replace, or how, how much are we going to have to ramp up soy? Well, well, what, what I'm saying is, it said here it needs to triple by 3.289, right? Well, considering if we move the oil across, right, we only need 7%. And then we triple that because we're not using the meal for the, um, currently for, for human food. So, I mean, th talking, it's going to be about talking, the same, if not slightly about, less, right? But, am, am I wrong? But we're talking about in, in, under, in, a, ve in a vegan world, a 100% vegan population around the world. 
you're going to have to I'm, I'm going from what it fire. says on your on your screen where it would need to triple but I'm saying if you eliminated the oil and put it back onto something like the palm oil and then you're growing the 7% 3.28 times that works out 21 Where's the twenty one percent? So it's only twenty one percent of that graph, right? Where's the seven percent coming from? Well, the seven the seven percent is what we currently grow for human consumption, right? Right, but yeah. Where, where so if we need to triple that, that that's twenty one. So where have you replaced that? No, not no. I'm talking. Am, about I, am, I, am I looking at it wrong? If I am, if I look at it wrong, you can yeah, tell me. Like I'm fine. Like right, what just what explain it. Is a vegan world would require soybean production. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about that 7% of the soybean production that's currently going directly to animal No no I'm talking about no I'm talking about the 7% that going directly to humans currently Right you're talking about the 7% that's going directly to humans Yeah the soybeans that are directly fed to humans right. I'm saying if you need to triple right. that then that's 21% Right 21 right Yeah but but you, if you do that then you're going to decrease the amount of uh, soybeans that you're cultivating correct um, One well, well, yeah, because 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 we wouldn't be growing them for the okay, oil great. and the meal as much okay, anymore. Great, fantastic. Yeah, so what percent is the yellow bar just for humans, or is that humans and agriculture also? It's humans and it's every it's every soybean for every reason that's being grown. Okay, every oh, wait, wait, so so we right. so we're including biofuels in here again, still. Yes, we're every. You don't use soybean protein for biofuels. Okay. But again, so you can extract oil out of a bean I'm talking biofuel. Garland, Garland. Th 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 this this, this, this is why this, this is this is why we get mixed up because we're only talking about the diet at us side. That's all. That's that. That is our argument that we're trying to argue with you. We're not arguing. We, we can totally agree we, that there would be a large portion. Chris, Chris, Chris. No, no. I'm saying I can agree with you that there would be a large portion needed for that, biofuel. I, or, or, or although we are we're, saying that will move to palm. We're, we're past so. that now, Chris. We're past that. So what are you talking about then? I don't understand what you're talking about. We had that conversation earlier, and I said yes. If if it's just if we're going to look at this narrow portion of the soybean uh, crop, and we're going to omit the biofuel that humans are consuming, then yes, you would be correct. Oh, hold, hold, hold on. But hold on. but now what we're looking at is we've moved past that. Hold on. Okay, second. we've hold moved on. past that, and now we. I went down that. Path okay, hold on. I can, I can explain I this. I can explain this. Uh, we won't need the soy because, um, I mean, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but soy isn't even the most efficient biofuel, is it? Like we can just switch to another. So why do we need well, to grow? Why do we need to grow not, soy for bio oil yeah. when there's probably a, well, this, a more efficient oil? So because this isn't about uh, biofuel. This is about okay well, protein, human diet. The human okay, diet th th then then what I said was correct. Then if we're only talking about that, then if it's seven percent is currently grown for humans, and your thing over here says that it will require to triple, that's twenty one percent. No, that's not. So which is twenty one percent of your yellow box? No. 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 Read that first sentence. It says the vegan world would, would require, require so, yeah, to more than triple production. All yeah. soybeans, all soybeans produced yep. in the world for every reason would have to triple to. Just no, hold catch on. Up hold on. Protein wise, oh, you, you're contradicting yourself. If it's if we if we if we're saying that the biofuel has gone elsewhere. No, that was that was the. You and I already agreed on that. I conceded. Exactly. That's what I I'm conceded. saying. That's what I'm saying you I did. Conceded. Now, but so now I don't understand what you're talking about now. I don't understand what you're talking no, about. You seem to be talking no, about more than food again. We've, what we've done is we've broadened the... We, you and I already... Well, I think what you're doing is you're going back to a, a previous conversation that we had. And you're confusing... The facts from that. No, I'm trying to eliminate biofuel and talk about food and protein. I conceded. I conceded. Do you? Do you? Maybe if you could get up out of your chair for a minute, Chris, and do a jig <laughs> and celebrate. No, that I conceded. Garland. Like, okay. okay. I, I think. I think. Okay. We, we might. Okay. We might just be both agreeing and talking past each other here. No, like, no, I. I. I, I don't want to talk about biofuel. Yes, you've conceded those things. I'm not. I, I'm I, trying I to understand what you mean. Okay. By okay, by, because you say my stat is wrong. I don't understand I you, what what, what I, you mean. Okay, then I, I what, what this. I'm going to tell you what the yellow bar is, and then I want you to forget about the yellow bar. Well, how about I explain what it is, and you tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. So, you've got the red bar is the protein from all meat, fish, milk currently consumed on the planet, right? The yellow box is the soybean protein 
which is actually I, I, I can't see the bottom word. What does it say under currently? Because it's covered up on the screen. Soybean protein currently consumed. I'm if guessing. If we could put us over on the side again, then I think we'd be able to see. Yeah, can you do that? Because I so I can see it currently currently produced. Okay. So hold on. So hold hold on. Uh, soybean currently produced currently consumed are, are you you're kind of using consumed and produced interchangeably there are you you're saying they're both the same thing the reason i used consumed on the uh the red is because that's all human dietary okay and the yellow and what, I, what i'm so the yellow includes everything know. including the biofuels everything that's everything just every soybean we we do that's the protein right. of everything so, combined right. so right? i think the, the reason it's an important visual is that let's say we got rid of the biofuel and this this doesn't really if you're going to remove the protein that doesn't really affect the oil production mm. so the oil production could still be going on right so that should be like a that should count in your favor because you don't you wouldn't have to ramp up because palm oil is also destructive so you know this this would mean that yeah those every one of those soybeans right there could also be the oil extracted out of them and they could that could go towards our bio, biofuel needs if we need them mm. but th but this is if we were to extract all of the protein for from all the soybeans that are produced today yeah for every reason then that yellow bar represents that that those grams of protein that we could extract yeah. from the soil uh, and, and so and yeah and so according to you we would need to triple that in order to match the protein currently consumed globally is that correct I, well I, I said what i'm saying in, in the paragraph there is not triple but it, in order to match it exactly and i would argue that the soybean protein is not as uh bioavailable it's not as digestible so i think it would have to be more than 3.289 times okay. but i think just to just to uh, for you know for argument's sake to make it simple, let's say we're just going to match it exactly. We would have to take the soybean production that we have today in the world mm -hmm. and multiply that times three point two eight nine times to match that protein. Okay, right. Give me two seconds in, in grams to do a calculation. Hang on, one, two, uh, three, one, nine, nine, seven, five. Oh, three, seven, six, one, six, zero. Okay, so according to my calculation, so I have just divided the current meat fish protein currently consumed by the soybean protein currently produced. It says here that to match them, we would need 3.289, which is exactly what you've, you've written there, okay? So, <clears throat> So, yeah, so basically, yeah, so basically, what you're saying is, it, yeah, it would triple, right? My argument is, even if it, even if, okay, so let me try and understand, because maybe I might admit that maybe I, I've got it wrong. I could have got it wrong here. No, I'm, I'm always happy to to do if I did. So, what you're saying, yeah, it would, it wouldn't say the same. It would triple. Is what you're saying here? It, well, it, I'm just saying because I, I might be wrong. I, I'm least, more than happy to admit mistakes that I've done. Triple, it. and then we wouldn't be finished because we would also have to do take some other measures as well. Okay, because the the, the reason that I'm wait, um, too much the current protein consumed globally. I think I'm just misunderstanding. It's probably because it's half three in the morning. <laughs> so please forgive me if I'm being a bit slow in picking this up. Like if, if it was a normal time, I'd probably got this a bit, a bit faster. Jeffrey, do you kind of understand what's being said here? Can you kind of help me out a little bit just to make sure that I'm understanding things correctly? Oh, you're muted, by the way. I can't hear you. The last few minutes, I've been uh, kind of paying attention to something else right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, well I've, been, I've been in the chat. Well, let's say, let, you know, let's just say for the sake of argument, right? Let's say we have to triple the uh, the soy production, right? Let's say let's say that's what we have to do, right? And with tripling the soy production, we eliminate all the land that's been used by animal agriculture completely, including all the deaths from any animal agriculture activity. Are we still in a better position? Okay, first, first of all, we would have to, uh, tri tripling the amount of soybean cultivation would take up 
some land, correct? Oh yeah, of course it would. Yeah, of course. Well, okay. Would it take up more before land? Before we go there, well, well, hold on. Just before we go there, because I don't think it was cleared up. Why would we have to triple the soy? You can explain that to him, Chris. He'll, he'll just yell at me. If I, <laughs> I think, from what you're saying, if it's correct, is basically this is the amount of soy that we're we're currently growing. Basically, the red is the protein that we currently people are currently getting from. No, no, no. I get I get what he's saying, but I why would doesn't. we need to replace it with soy and not other things? Why would we mandatory have to triple the soy uh, actually, uh, well, if we could triple actually, all kinds of other? You know, we can make that higher. We can yeah, replace hold on. that protein the, with the, the, tons that, of different stuff. That, that is a, that is a valid point, Garland. Like this here currently doesn't equate for the other calories coming from all the other foods that we already currently grow as well. If we right. if we factored that in as well, where would that chart be in comparison? Because then we might not actually well, need to grow as much. You kind of see where we're coming from there. I'd be interested to know. Are you, are you confusing calories with essential protein, essential yeah. amino acids? I mean, I mean, it depends. We eat a varied diet. We don't just live off of soy, though. We eat different things and we get... Right, but, but, but we do need... So we might argue that soy is a complete... If we were eating only soy, yeah, we would have amino deficiencies, but we don't all eat only soy, and we, we would obviously be getting our stuff from all, all kinds right. of different... Yeah, stuff. and and and, and hold on. As much as you don't like the, the, the products, and I know we, I don't want to go into a conversation about these, but the um, the mock meats that are being created as well are also containing a lot of these <laughs> proteins and how much, like, to equal soy so yeah, I, livestock eat like a million times more soy than than the average human garland like obviously the average human if if the if the cows were gone the huge amount of soy that's exist like humans would only be able to eat so much of it before it's just like mm. that's too much so clearly you know the amount of soy would come down and the 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 demand for protein sources would bring in you know products that aren't soy based uh to fill that demand like i don't get this like having to triple the soy and forcing everyone to eat soy this is some weird like vegan yeah. agenda conspiracy uh, yeah, it, it, yeah it, it, and you're wasting all this time yeah, on it you're right and I, I know i'm surprised that probably because i'm tired i didn't pick up it before this, this is kind of assuming that it's a world with only soy and a world with only meat fish and everything this this uh, yellow one realistically should include the total protein from all the foods that we're currently to see then what the deficit would be. Like well, when I, I said earlier, I don't eat soy ever. You know that that was kind of to prove this point. <clears throat> I'm a vegan, and I and and most vegans I know don't eat a lot of soy. You're a sump. You're assuming our diet by thinking we eat soy all day because you think we eat you know Impossible Burgers and stuff all day. But that's not actually the the reality. Yeah, I mean, a lot of Can all whole food me? vegans don't touch it barely at all. Right? Yeah. Can you tell me where you're getting your your protein from? Pretty, it's not about where I'm pretty getting much my everything. Protein everything, from. everything has got protein in. Broccoli, rice, like all kinds of stuff, like yeah. vegetables, and quinoa, lentils, Brussels sprouts, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. We've only got a hit. Like, what does that matter? <laughs> Well, I think like, what, not it, what, soy. It matters, what it matters is Very, that... You know, I, I'm not saying I don't ever eat soy, but it's not a, a normal hmm. thing that I eat. So the, I to the think that all of us would just yeah. eat nothing but soy... Yeah. We've only got hit our know, RDA. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Right. You said earlier, you said we can't change our diets to where people are dying. Like, well, am I dead? I've right. been vegan a total of 20 years of my life. Like, have I died yet? Like, there's tons of vegans that are in perfectly good health in their old age, 80 years old, you know, perfectly healthy. Have has it, have they died? Like you're making it out. You're you're building a false narrative. No, like you're using I, I you're using those, your 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 conspiracy yeah. theory stuff to like push this like science we're trying to do. That red bar has to be replaced. No, it, yeah, it, it does. Yeah, other stuff. It won't just be it, soy. It does, but what I'm saying it is replaced with protein. But, but what I'm what I'm saying is is some of these uh, some of the other protein values are already exist. We don't need to to grow or to replace them. They're not included in this chart. Okay, so so let's say that we leave the soybean protein con, uh, production the same as it is and don't increase it. Yeah, mung okay, beans. Would that be fair? E protein, garbanzo beans. 
Right, but would what, all what's... kinds of lentils be all kinds of protein? I mean, what I'll be interested in seeing, and I don't know whether you've got the stat. Jeffrey, have we got uh, Chris and I were having a very cordial com no, conversation? No, that's cool. And I'm, now I'm, you're bringing I'm animosity. Just hanging out. Yeah, Garland, I've, I've got a quick question because I don't know whether you've got it on hand at all because I haven't looked up. Do you know the total amount of protein currently grown uh, for human consumption for crops? Do we have that stat? What is the primary protein that's... Well, it doesn't need to be a primary protein, protein source, protein. just protein across all all the foods that we're eating. No, no I don't. You don't? Because that is what should be compared, ultimately. Because like I said, because we're not even eating one product and we're switching, as long as we get our RDA, we could get a little bit from this food, a little bit from this food, a little bit from that food. They, they all add up. So what we need to know, really, to make this fair is the actual total of... Um, consumable protein we have currently in comparison okay. to the other one and then we will know what we need to make up all right so we don't we don't know um right now we can't say that soybean the soybean market or the soybean production would go down you you concede to that right well the thing is i i, I don't okay. I, I would say i don't know at this point i would say I, I literally wouldn't can't can't say yes or no i'm uh okay. you could be right you could be wrong i don't know you would concede that broccoli is not a good source of protein, wouldn't you, Chris? Um, lots of protein. Jeffrey's about. probably the better person to ask the. Yeah, I'm, there's lots of protein. Uh, the only reason, the only reason I'm saying that. Garland. Well, Garland, Garland did, this I, whole gap between between the uh, above the yellow that would be filled with vegetables. Yeah, Garland. The only reason I'm saying to ask Jeffrey about yeah. those things is that the health side of stuff not, is not, not my expertise. The, the health side of stuff and how much protein things is yeah. not my expertise. Remember, Jeff is your he, person. You to to, I think what you guys aren't. Maybe you're not factoring. Why would into, we? Why would we grow soybeans if I we could just grow more vegetables? Your, Garland. I think what you're not factoring more into your, I think what you're not factoring into your Bond algorithm, Jeffrey. No, hold on, let, let, let him speak. Your algorithm up. is that in a vegan world, you would have to take the number of vegans that exist right now and multiply it times thirty-four. Yeah, yeah. No, but hold on. Let, 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 let me get, let me give you an example yet. of why this would be wrong. Okay, so for example, this is just a quick off the top of the head thing. From what we know, about thirty-six to forty-one percent of corn is currently fed to animals, okay? So if we added corn on top of this as edible carrot, um, carrot I don't know what the protein is of corn. I'm just using this purely well, as an have, example. You have to know what protein, you can't just say calories. That's No, no, I'm, I'm not trying to say it. I'm dangerous. just using this as an example. You I'm just, I'm just saying a product like that. You can survive on just calories. Look, just no, no I'm, not, I'm not trying to say calories. I'm, I, I could be using this as a wrong example and I fully admit that. All I'm saying is yeah, if there's a product the like that that has more protein, dangerous then we need to add that onto the chart. It needs to be added to the yellow. Okay, let's look that up. Can we look up uh, how much protein is in corn? I mean, corn might not be the best example. Jeffrey, you're, you're, you know better what the higher protein sources are. What what, what should be good ones to we start adding We have to replace here? that red bar with something. Uh, bro you're all of that broccoli it. and spinach. Okay, Give yeah. me a minute. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds great. So let, let's get some of the higher protein ones in there. Um, is... Is, is protein, um, lentils normally a good one as well? Jeffrey, lentils, are they, they pretty good? Jeffrey, are, are lentils any good? Are they, are they good protein-wise? You're muted, by the way. Yeah, garbanzos. I oh, know you're back, okay. Chickpeas, chickpeas, look up chickpeas. Okay, chickpeas, okay. So let's say chickpeas. Um, um, one cup. Total protein. I'm trying to work out, is there an easy way to find this out? World. One cup of one cup of raw broccoli is uh, two point three grams of protein. Okay, and h how do we work that out on the how much protein of that is currently produced? If you maybe look up how many, I mean that's a bit of a difficult one, I guess. <laughs> like if you find it, try and find out like the weight, maybe. the broccoli weight, uh, crop weight in in total, maybe, and then you can work that out by protein. Um, I mean, the thing is, like the thing is, we'll, we'll, the thing is, we'll be here for a while because we'll be adding broccoli. We'll be yeah, adding this the, is kind of like all a, the different beans. I, I mean, I, I, it's to kind of speed it up. All we're kind of saying is, there needs okay, to, so a, is that yellow cup, needs to a be a cup of chickpeas is ten grams of protein. That's a pretty no, easy number to deal with. Okay. So a cup per ten grams for chickpeas, okay. and okay. chickpeas are a replacement for a lot of can we can vegan we get the foods. um can we get the uh, the total uh, chickpea production. Uh, chickpea production. 
Okay, so it's got tons. So if you could, um, oh, is this, is this a, actually, is this says as pulses. Let's just add pulses. And so if you work out 89 million metric tons and then times that by the, uh, if you work out the, the protein from that, you should be able to, um, whatever the calculation for that would be. Can, can I uh, suggest a, a tandem uh, lookup here? Sure. In addition to what you're looking up, I would like us to uh, look up and I are, I've already done it, but you guys. Or can... we could end on this and 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 start on this. Okay. Next time. Oh yeah, okay. just let everyone know. I'm probably going to spend another 15 minutes, and then it's going to be 4 a.m. I need to sleep after this. Okay. But, um, yeah. Yeah. But we've got a couple, we got 15 minutes. It says here this is a this is a study that was done by uh, um, Food and Science Nutrition Magazine or uh, Journal June. Okay, well, yeah, I'll drop the link. Drop the link in the private chat or something so we can take a look. Okay. It says that uh, the digestibi digestibility of raw chickpeas has been reported between 34% and 76%. Yeah, but the, I mean, this may have slight relevance, but I mean, it, we're, we're looking at more than just chickpeas here. We're looking at like literally every single other thing that has protein to get the total amount of protein that is currently available to us. That's what we're looking at. Right. So what what I think we'll what we'll do after we wrap this up tonight yes, is we might need to come we, back we to can this. Get back together. Yeah. We'll do some research. We, we can we can figure out how much crop agriculture will have to increase. Sure. In a vegan world. Sure. We yeah. can speculate. We can estimate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm totally down to do this. Because, I mean, what ultimately needs to be proved is that the amount of um, cropland that would need to be additionally be used will be greater than the amount of land that would be saved from the elimination of animal agriculture as well. Wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. You're not going to save land by removing animals. Well, of course you will. No. No. What do you mean? If, if we don't need to increase the crops as much as all the land that's being used by by cattle and pigs no, and chickens and all because, the things come along with it. Because, the, for instance, here on the North American continent, before the European settlement, we had bison, we had deer, mm -hmm. elk, moose. Uh, we had a prong ho pronghorn uh, antelope. That it, well, Not a true antelope, actually, but it, uh, they, there was like uh, 65 million of those. Uh, they were roaming around uh the north american continent so we want to replace that with cows well we can replace it with any ruminant that's going to uh <clears throat> build build the soil because that but you could just you, burn you know you can just do controlled burns and and do that no you can't and, and just let nature burn, go back and take over again no control burns yeah. will remove carbon from the the soil no that's not not how it works dude yes it is yes it is no, it's the, your your whole regenerative grazing thing. That's that'll be another subject we'll have to get into. But you hold, know. On, hold on, let, let, let's just say, let's just for example say that's true, right? What about all the factory farmland, which isn't pasture, isn't being grazed, isn't anything? If we use that for crops, then technically, why would we need to be? You know, we could still potentially save like majority of the world's animals are in factory farms. Are not. How well, yeah, yeah. The factory farms are concentrated feedlots. I, I don't, I don't like those things any more than you, you guys do. Mm. Uh, I'm against concentrated feedlots myself. Yeah. But what I'm for is, and and Jeffrey will will uh, argue with me on this. But the reason we, when we came to this continent, and we found all of this black soil, it was rich in carbon, it was rich in nutrients, and we didn't uh, require any type of <clears throat> synthetic synthetic uh, or, or mined fertilizers back in those days. We do now, partly because every time we till, we lose carbon. And every time we use these synthetic uh, nutrients, we kill soil life. And so the ecology will teach you that animal manure plays a huge role in enriching the soil and adding mm -hmm. carbon to the soil. And the studies that have been done to regenerate that that uh, Jeffrey would refer to are a very small, I mean, like earlier, I told you that there was a study that showed that 50% of the women in, UK, in the UK cannot convert beta carotene. 
And you said, yeah, but that was only like 56 people, fixed 56 women or something like that. I couldn't yeah, it was a really, s- I, I, have, I haven't read it for a while, but I remember it being a very, very small sample size. So it's not right, something. Let's say it was, let's say it was 50. Well, the, the study that, uh, that Jeffrey is referring to is only looking at one regenerative farm. So to try to try to paint all regenerative uh, rotational grazing with by looking at one farm, that's not that's not that's even less. But that, that's still our valid. best empirical data on it, though. I mean, I don't know what the study your, is. I, your study I'm not sure that has plenty at. of studies that can counter it. Well, then then that uh, that beta carotene is our best empirical data as well. So. How okay. are you well, going to pick and choose? Let's not get too far into this. Yeah, because I probably uh, have to sleep. Let's this up. <laughs> this guy, got, he's, been, he's been up all week, basically. <laughs> yeah, I'm real lacking in sleep. Thank you, Garland. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate really you appreciate, coming on. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think this has been a lot more constructive than the debate. Hell yeah, way more. Everyone because, does. Uh, and I, I think because we've not got, you know, there's no pressure from the debate. Obviously, in the debate, Everyone gets excited. Everyone gets riled up. Everyone just wants to go in. It's all part of the fun, all part of the drama. But at least now we've been yeah. able to go through individually the bits and deconstruct it. And I think, it, yeah, I appreciate you you being honest with us, Garland. Just so you know, I am not a hired person to target you, okay? 100%. I have a job. I'm a video editor. And um, I definitely uh, do not get paid by Garland. You're not a show for... Or Tyson... Or anyway. Hungry man. I get paid by mum bloggers and that want me to edit their vlogs uh, <laughs> and stuff like that. Well, you you were the only one of your of your gang, so to speak, that was commenting in my on my channel. And when I blocked you, they all got very pissed off. Like, Most of them I haven't blocked something. you though. Like Ellie didn't block you. Chris is a really yeah. nice guy. I could Ali's see why in... they got pissed off. <laughs> Well, I don't know well, who else blocked you. I, I have no, literally no idea. Like you said about David Ram, I, I don't know whether he has or not. Vegan Logic idea. blocked me. Uh, David Rams blocked me. I mean, if they did, tell those guys, tell those guys to unblock me. I'm, I'll unblock you. We blo- unblock each other. I mean, why? Why should it require you, them to unblock you? Why, what was me? Because, because if you're going, if you're going to be able to spread your propaganda in my backyard, I want to be able to spread mine. I mean, yours. my channel is open. You can post what you want. No, you don't have a, an active channel. You should have kept, kept an active. Well, Ellie's is. Ellie's is active. Well, no, I, I, Ellie, I want to comment uh, on David Ram's channel. I mean, oh that, I think that's something you're going to have to take up with him. It's not really up to me for him. He's, okay. he's his own person. I can't okay. tell him to right. unblock yeah. you. He's your buddy, though, and you talk to him. Yeah, of course. You might even be editing videos for him. I don't know. No, I don't edit videos for David Rams. You're straw manning again, Garland. Yeah. <laughs> well, he said he was a professional video. Yeah, he does his own editing. Straw man farm. But yeah, like right. th- that, that's that's ultimately nothing to do with me. That's something you're gonna have to take up with with David. You want to sh- shout out your channel Garland? for his own reasons, but sure, Garland Farms. Yeah, but Garland Farms on YouTube. But yeah, let's have a catch up then, and we're going to basically go over that chart again, and we're going to see maybe next week. Um, yeah, give me a, a little bit of time. I've got some work I'm meant to be doing, which I haven't been doing. And, so and maybe we can be a little <laughs> bit more with, accommodating. I could do with having a bit of work. Your, time. Uh, your time zone. Yeah, and if we can get this at a, yeah, a more reasonable time than 3 a.m., that would be super helpful because my brain will be a little bit more working when I'm a bit more awake. <laughs> well, I think I did all right tonight. It was only towards the end I started to flake a bit. But besides that, I think I was, <laughs> I think I was okay. That B12 deficiency kicking in, isn't it? Yeah, 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 brain fog. Well, thanks, thanks for thanks for letting me come on, Jeffrey. I enjoyed. Yeah, that. man. No worries. I'm glad we I could really finally appreciate chat. You coming up and being honest, like tonight. Garland. I honestly, I'm glad we could finally chat. I mean, we have been talking in the comments for a long, long time, and obviously, I did offer to chat to you a long time ago. Whatever your reasons were, you didn't want to. But I'm glad that we finally made it happen. Anyway, and we can be amicable, which is nice. Gar- Garland, did you know that he was the crab? <laughs> I had to get you somehow. <laughs> I can I can confess now. I can confess. I, I was the crab. I was the crab. You bastard. <laughs> yeah. Can't get one past How me. Awesome. <laughs> I always find a way. Always find a way. Right, guys. I'm going to head off. I'm going to go to sleep. Lovely chatting to everybody. A crab debate. Yeah. yeah Garland, Thanks, we, we will chat very soon. Um, we'll maybe organize maybe a chat next week or something. i got to get some work done first because I've literally been not doing any work because I've been doing stuff like this uh and yeah 
all good. And yeah, Jeffrey, thanks for having me on your channel. And I guess we're streaming on both, so yeah, whatever. So yeah. Good. Sweet. All, all right, right, guys. I will leave you soon. Yeah. yeah. See you in a while.